In this lesson, we'll be first drawing some clouds using some quick shape tools, and then you'll learn all about using the selection tool to make adjustments to just a small portion of a layer. Tapping on my layers icon, I'm going to add a new layer, and I want this one to be above my mountain, so I'm selected on my uppermost layer, and I'm going to tap the plus sign. On our new layer, still using the monoline brush, I'm gonna grab this light pink, and then pinching to zoom in. So to draw these clouds, what I'm going to do is start by drawing a straight line across. Keeping my pencil touch to the screen, I'm going to use one finger to tap, and this will make it a mostly level line. I think it might sometimes end up being a couple degrees off, but for our purposes, this is level enough. Once it's snapped into a line, I'm gonna start on one side and draw a series of arches, trying to vary them in both size and shape. Now, because brush stabilization is still turned on, these lines are really nice and smooth. If you would like them to be even smoother, or you want to be able to adjust nodes on them, you can snap them into a quick shape. Just as before, keep your pencil touched to the screen after you draw the curve until the notification appears, and then tap edit, and you can adjust the lines. And now we're going to color drop to fill. Over in this general area, I'm gonna draw a straight line again, and then touch a finger to the screen until it snaps into a level line. And then we're gonna connect it with a series of arcs again. Once more, color drop to fill. If it snaps into a quick shape and you liked what you drew more than what it snapped to, you can simply use two fingers to undo and rather than completely remove the line, it'll just bring it back to what you originally drew. It's important to also keep in mind when drawing these, since we're color dropping to fill them with color, we're gonna want to make sure that we're making closed shapes and that there's no gaps in between the lines. So I am happy with the amount of clouds that I have here, but I do want to move this middle cloud a little bit. To move just this one cloud, we can use the selection tool, which is this icon here. Then that will allow us to work within a smaller portion of the layer. So I'm going to tap that icon, and this brings up the selection bar. There are several different selection tool options. Freehand allows you to draw your selection. You can see the marquee line appear as I draw. If you use multiple brush strokes to draw your selection, you can undo each of those to help you refine it. But if you don't pick up your pencil when you're drawing, it'll just remove the one single line that you drew. So I'm going to draw a circle all around this and then tap the dot to close the selection. And now what has appeared is what's called a selection mask, these diagonal lines. And that shows me what is not included in the selection. You can refine your selection by using the add or remove buttons here. Add will increase the selected area and then remove will decrease it. Now for this, because all of our clouds are just on this layer, the selection that I've drawn here does what I need it to. It selects just this cloud out of the layer. So now from the selection tool, I'm going to tap the transform tool. And now you see my bounding box is just around this one cloud, even though it's on a layer with the other two clouds. From here, I'm tapping outside of the cloud or outside of the bounding box to just move it down a smidge so that there's a nice gap there. And then I'm tapping the transform tool once more to release the selection. If you accidentally released the selection too soon, you can reload the selection mask by pressing and holding on the selection tool. You'll see the selection mask reappear. A couple other things within the selection tool, you can quickly copy and paste, and this will make a new layer with your selection. But again, it's a copy, not a cut. Clear will completely remove all selections, so you can draw a new one. Invert allows you to invert the selection. You can also switch between different selection modes to modify or refine your selection. 
As general guidance, these options at the top are the different selection modes that you can use to create the selection. And then these lower options are for editing, adjusting, and refining the selection that you've created. For example, Feather allows you to set a percentage of blur on the edges of the selection. So as you can see, the mask grows or decreases as I change the slider. Save and Load allows you to save multiple selections for this specific canvas, meaning that it won't show up in any other file that you create or have created. This can be really useful if you've made multiple selections that you want to switch between. To use this, after you've created a selection, tap the heart icon and then the plus sign to save your selection. You can delete saved selections by swiping to the left on them. Color fill, when turned on, will auto-fill all live selections with your active color, including new selections as you create them. And then you can tap the selection tool to release the selection. At this point, all of our base shapes are completed and arranged, and we've also covered a lot of the fundamentals of working in Procreate. In the next portion of the class, we'll get into more painting and blending as we add dimension to the mountains.